Welcome to the lesson on VORs. We today we are going to be intercepting a outbound radial. Just a quick recap for yesterday. Um, for this lesson, I'm going to take it. You have already tuned and identified and tested your VOR, and then um, either routed direct to the VOR in question here, yeah, which is Lima, India, Victor of Land, Syria in South Africa or uh, where we're going to use the outbound radial is uh, say we've just taken off from a runway and air traffic control is going to give us a radial um, to fly outbound so just again um, you can check your frequencies by clicking on the radial uh, to set it up or you can go to the Salvation Authority um, website Go and search for the Land Syria International plate or follow for your KO code, and then you'll find your frequency right here at the bottom. So 117.4. Perfect. So let's get started. So we're going to pop back into the cockpit for now. I was going to get a little bit closer because we don't need to see what's happening outside because that is actually the whole purpose of this instrument flying. And away we go so what we're gonna do just to quickly recap we are now 1.8 nautical miles routing inbound to Lima India Victor we are gonna overfly the VOR beacon and then we will intercept a radial outbound so we're just gonna wait for our flag to show from to indicate we are overhead the beacon as well as the needle going out either to left or right perfect so we're gonna give that a second and then um, once over it let's say ATC is gonna give us radial 210 to intercept so remember radial start from the VR and then it's being radiated outwards that we are gonna do so we're just waiting for it to overfly there the needle is going out we are maintaining our heading and the flag will go from to to from over it needles has changed and now we're done and confirm we are flying away from the station perfect so i'm gonna do two outbound interceptions with you for today um usually there's a quick one for when you're close by as well as a very um or one that's that's if you're not in a rush but you want to still to intercept then just a, a gentle one so let's say we are flying where we are now and atc tells us intercept the radial 210 outbound now the first thing that you need to know for outbound or inbound interception is the phrase from top to bottom today we're gonna work from top so that first part that is say we are flying from the station meaning we're going outbound so from top means we need a from flag and we are using the top section of the VOR so they said radial 2 1 so you are then gonna say from top so we have a fro um, from flag AFM and then on top we set the radial so there's radial 2 1 so we're going to turn the OBS until it's dead center on that yellow triangle now here's where the part comes in you are going to look if the needle is to the left or to the right because this is going to determine your interception if it's to the left we know we are then gonna um, do a left turn and also um, if we intercept we intercept either by 30 three zero or 60 degrees so what you're gonna do you are now gonna look where's 210 on your DI there's 210 right here uh, that we've got but the needle is to the left so now start from the top and then if you see you go anti-clockwise or to the left your um, headings is decreasing so that means you need to minus so we're gonna take two one 
minus 30 or 60 degrees so let's just minus 30 degrees from that from 210 so then we're gonna get 1990 that we um, can use or to uh, sorry my correction 180 for the 30 degree interception so that's look now what's happening we are now flying towards the 210 radial outbound so we are now currently intercepting the radial so now what you're gonna do you are gonna fly the aircraft and you are gonna wait for your needle of the VOR to start moving then we're gonna give a shout out and say VOR or needle alive then we're gonna wait for what's called half scale deflection this is when this needle reaches halfway point so basically that um, fifth ball uh, ball, ball that we're gonna use so you're gonna have two on the side and two on the other um, side so the middle then we're gonna start turning back onto your heading of or your radio of 210 so we're now just gonna wait for it and same thing if our interception was to the right meaning the needle goes to um, is off to the right that means our headings is gonna be increasing so that means you plus so you take 2 1 on your di plus 30 or 60 degrees for intercept fly it and once the needle um, is whole scale deflection will then turn onto the radial that has been given to us 2 1 so let's now just wait for the needle it should get um, active shortly now and then we'll just intercept so to recap what has happened here yeah, they've given us a radial 2 1 we've set it up on top of the VOR needle was to the left meaning we need to minus 30 or 60 degrees from the heading to intercept so we come down find the heading now 2 1 minus 60 or 30 degrees fly it wait for the needle to be alive needle is alive and now we're waiting for half scale deflection and then we'll turn back onto 210 um, degrees for radial 210 so there's half scale deflection we're coming up on radial 210 and now we can turn onto a heading of 210 to fly out on a rail of 210 but now something that what I wanted to show you here if you close by the VOR can you see I'm now flying 210 but my radial is not yet centered on 210 so this means then you've turned in too fast or you are actually too close to the VOR if this happens not to worry just adjust your heading by 5 or 10 degrees to the left or right how do I know to the left or right simple I look to my needle if the needle is to the left I need to fly to the left if the needle is out to the right I turn and fly towards the right so now we just fly at 10 degrees and look there the needle is now coming in um, nicely so we're just gonna wait until it's nicely centered and then we'll continue flying so there we go so we've got a few more degrees to go it's gonna make a little bit more of a turn just for us to go quicker and while all this is happening always then remember to check your distance because we're flying away from the station so is my distance increasing a firm so that means we are on the correct track perfect I'm just gonna move that along a little bit so we can get on the center because we are flying out a bit far now and then we'll get on to the heading there we go so we're almost centered so you see just when flying with instruments small changes 
gets the job done. No need for rapid movement on the controls. So once it's centered, then get yourself back on the heading of 2-1 and confirm you're flying now, radial, 2-1-0, outbound. Perfect. So just to quickly look at what happened. On the map, we overflew Land Sierra. They've given us the radial 210 to intercept. So there we've intercepted it. And now we've turned onto the radial. And now we are flying away from the radial. Now let's just do one more. Let's intercept radial 180. So what are we going to do? From top. So we have the from flag 180 radial. We're going to set it at the top of the VOR. There is 180. Perfect. So to the left, meaning we need to decrease. So we look where is 180? Yes, 180. But now let's intercept with 60 degrees 60 for faster interception so uh, 180 minus 60 degrees is going to give us a heading of 120 so let's turn on to 120 and again it's a left turn because needles out to the left all the while confirming we are flying outbound and distance is increasing so here you can see now we are flying towards rail 180 and also please don't think just the VOR this circle indicates the range of the VOR um, this is just on every map like um, um, anything from 10 to 20 nautical uh, miles that's just um, given around the VOR just as a um, solution for you but depending on the surfaces then um, VORs can range for about 300 nautical miles but we never um, take select the furthest VOR we always um, fly and work with the closest and serviceable VOR when flying perfect so we'll just give that a second I think, um, yeah, then we'll be almost from here. Cool, so we'll give this a more second. And then always remember, once you've got your idea of what's actually happening under control, try and fly the aircraft without autopilot. I'm just flying now because I need to um, be busy. With everything now and explain with the maps so um, keep those scans going remember you start from your attitude indicator looking for your airspeed back to your ultimate um, attitude indicator going to the altitude indicator back to all um, your attitude then you're going back towards vertical speed attitude directional control attitude indicator turn coordinator attitude indicator back to airspeed and then you start all process um, over and then very so often just confirm oil and temperatures are in the green and your everything else is looking good perfect okay so we are getting a little bit um, closer for that section so we'll just give that a second and then we'll should see the VOR start showing alive and then we can take it from there so distance currently 16.3 nautical miles from lima india victor okay it seems like we're almost now passing the 170 radial And then we'll be standing by shortly now, keeping an eye out on our VOR for the needle to show alive. And perfect. Okay, needle is alive. Now we're waiting for half scale deflection. 
but remember we are now f turning at 60 uh, or intercepting at 60 degrees so we're just gonna do a nice and slow turn because uh, we are also quite a bit out from the VR so no need to rush it and we're gonna turn back on to 180 and then confirm this just a right turn back to 180 so there's half scale deflection we're gonna get ready for the turn shortly I'm just gonna leave it there perfect and then we can start our turn usually in this scenario I would do about 15 degree this angle of bank but because it's an autopilot it seems um, it's just set to about a 20 degree angle of bank so I'll just gently move the heading back along so we keep it a nice easy pace for the interception of the VOR Perfect. so we've got almost there on the center line of the VOR needle almost in the middle so we just keep flying all the day at about 160 for a minute and then we will be on target with the VOR perfect so let me zoom in a bit here so you can see what's actually happening they, uh, we were flying outbound 120 radial then we've been given to um, from ATC the information to intercept the 180 radial so we then uh, turned um, to fly the interception and now we are turning back to or to turn to fly on the radial 180 outbound so this needle is centered on a VOR almost we'll commence our turn to have a heading of 180 so we can then confirm we are actually correcting everything that we've done we had a from top so from flag was set top 180 radial was set and we are now flying a heading of 180 and our distance is increasing as well as we can see we are on the radial 180 here so um, whenever you're flying instruments just use as much information as possible to verify and confirm you are doing the correct procedures and actually flying what has been given to you perfect so that is the outbound scenario for intercepting radials so tomorrow we'll get into flying inbound so with that being inbound is maybe we've now fly, flown halfway uh, to our next VOR in this case which can either be Golf of Victor or Hotel Golf Victor and now we need to change over but instead of flying outbound we now need to use um, an outbound radial to actually fly inbound so a little bit more about that in the next lesson if there's anything thing you don't understand drop me a message in the comment box or check out my playlist if there's previous lessons that you've missed and don't uh, forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next lesson and have a good day